He's a superhero who had a long road to the big screen. Blue Beetle is one of the oldest comic characters, but the latest edition takes representation in Hollywood to the next level. Not only is the movie the first live action feature to have a Latino superhero lead, it also features the first immigrant family. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos has more. Let's party. The latest superhero to hit the big screen, the Blue Beetle. Oh, I loved it. It was the best movie I've seen this year. It's awesome to finally have a superhero that represents us. DC's first movie to feature a Latino superhero. I was all happy to see a lot of Latinos in that movie. It was excellent, excellent. I think it was great. You feel like a little kid. The film features big names like George Lopez and Susan Sarandon. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. But in the starring role is Sholo Mani Duena, who is making history playing Jaime Reyes, the character that becomes the Blue Beetle. The actor is from right here in L.A. I grew up in El Sereno, born and raised Los Angeles, East L.A. kid. Um, and then, and I'm still out here. These are, these are still my stomping grounds. The 22 year old also stars in the Netflix series Cobra Kai, but this is his big break on the big screen. He plays a character who gains superpowers when an alien latches onto him. The first Latino superhero film written, directed, and starring Latinos. It's okay, it's gonna be okay! Since the release of the film in August, Sholo has been unable to promote his movie. He's among the thousands of actors on strike since July. And the people who are asking for the right to live and work and thrive in the business should be allowed to and should be able to. Um, and because of that reason, I won't be able to promote uh, the movie. And so a Blue Beetle Battalion was born. Latinos spreading the word about the movie, encouraging everyone everywhere to go see it. Hi, everybody. This is Dolores Huerta, and I'm inviting everybody to go see the movie, The Blue Beetle. Cities in L.A. taking action. Alhambra City Council commending Blue Beetle. Other areas holding community screenings. And in the city of El Monte, their mayor proclaiming a Blue Beetle Day. Just marking that historic moment for us as a Latino community and to really acknowledge um, and, and inform Hollywood that this is important for us and we want to see more of it. Getting to sit in these neighborhoods that I grew up watching movie theaters in and not necessarily seeing myself represented on screen, it felt weird, for lack of a better word, to, to in, in a good way, in the best way, um, and unique to celebrate it with, with the people that it was made for. Party, party. The film spotlighting Hispanic culture, resonating with so many of its viewers. It really shows like Hispanic lifestyle, you know, as I can like relate with um, the main characters. It showed the heritage of family, unity, and, and we stick together. We're not all gangbangers. The Blue Beetle's family playing an integral part in the movie. When Grandma came out with that gun, <laughs> that whatever it was. You loved it. Oh, it was oh, so neat. And in that way, it's, it's different than many other superhero movies in that most families don't even know their son is a superhero in, in movies of this nature. But in this family, it's part of the storyline. Off screen, but playing just as important of a role is Sholo's family, all part of that Blue Beetle battalion, including his mother, Carmelita Ramirez Sanchez, executive director at the Boyle Heights Arts Conservatory, where they teach children about the opportunities in the creative arts industry. We have historically marginalized our black and brown communities to the point where it's not even an option when our families think about careers. So we really want to reverse that. We want to have a new story. A new story that may be starting with this new superhero and her son. The universe has sent you a gift and you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. He's opening doors for a lot of us. Uh, I think it's really important that we were able to see a superhero that's Latino. Superheroes come from everywhere, right? And ours just happens to come from down the block. KTLA is honoring Hispanic heritage with a half hour special. Pedro Rivera and Megan Tellis will share stories from right here in SoCal. Tune in this Saturday, October 7th at 7 p.m.